Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to play Vulture's Claw, which is against two Caliphs and one Sultan. As you can see, you are in a bit of disadvantage against the yellow yellow Caliph, but don't worry. <laughs> Fuck. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to play Vulture's Claw, which is against two Caliphs and one Sultan. As you can see, you are in a bit of disadvantage against the yellow Caliph. However, hopefully we will be able to do it. So, let's get straight into the game. I'm gonna decrease the game speed because you really need to act fast. Uh, otherwise, the yellow Caliph has 40k gold and he will just rush you. Alright, so I'm gonna build two quarries here. Well, maybe three. So let's say three quarries. Uh, I will also need wheat farms. About wood four of them. It. Oh, we don't have wood. By the way, at the beginning of the game, your stockpile is stacking up. Uh, it's a good idea to build a marketplace and buy the stuff you need real fast. So that way you will get it instantly. Alright, so I got four wheat farms. Not enough workers available to run this building. And I will also build Hops Farm to get the nice happiness bonus from uh, from brewery. Oh, and by the way, you have to build all your buildings to the si south of your castle around this area uh, because the yellow caliphs archers are able to shoot like in this range, I'd say. So be careful of that. However, I'm going to build the brewery. Um, let's say three bakeries for now, but I will increase that. And, and for defense, I'm gonna build square towers. Well, let's say around towers, they have more HP. Uh, and I'm gonna build them just around my castle, like so. Can't place that there, my lord. The reason I'm doing this is that. I will be able to put ballistas on it. And Stone needed. there is a big chance that the yellow caliph is gonna launch attacks um, with catapults. And I want my ballistas to defend the castle. Alright, so let's construct barracks and armory now. Wood needed. We don't have wood again. We will also need mercenary posts. Can't place that there. And of Lord. course. To mend those ballistas, we need engineers' guild. Your grace. So six engineers. How can we help? Manning siege equipment. Send them to ballistas, and right now I'm going to recruit about fifteen crossbowmen, and the rest is going to be archers. So let's say ten archers. Shots needed, sire. Shot! Quick! March! So what else do we need? Uh, it's a good idea to connect your castle to Snake, so I'm gonna do that right now. So let's build a wall here. And I don't think it's needed to wall off this area. However, I think we could buy an inn. Which is here. Put it someplace safe. I don't know. Well, just next to the market. And da, 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 I, I think this is all for now, so I'm gonna increase the game speed. Oh, yeah, we don't have obstacles. I forgot about these completely. As you can see, his archers are able to shoot like in this green oasis area. However, uh, they are they are range and sub at about like when there is the desert with grass thingy. Oh, and by the way, you will need a lot of crossbowmen because they will launch attacks with Arabi uh, Arabian swordsmen, and you know. Those are really nasty. A message from the Caliph. My victory is at hand. The desert will run with blood. 
before this day is out. In this mission, it's a good idea to sell your bread as a moneymaker. And stone, of course, because you've got three quarries there. There are those swordsmen, which we will be able to defend against. Let's see, we got 43 flower. So considering how much flour we got, uh, it's a good idea to construct some more bakeries. So in fact, I'm gonna do it right now. A message from the caliph. You test my patience. I will crush you yet. A message from the caliph. You test my patience. I will crush you yet. And with some of the stone we've got, I'm going to build another layer of walls in front of my turrets. Like so. With your ballistas, it's a good idea to bind them on uh, key, so press Ctrl 3 or any other number, and every time you see a catapult, just manually attack it. Otherwise, they will like, make a hard time for you and Snake. And truth be told, uh, Snake is fairly useful uh, in this mission. If you request uh, defense or some goods, he will most likely be able to help you, so that's pretty awesome. Make use of that if you need it. But for now, we are just going to stack some breads that we can sell. Right now, I got 85 stone and more oxys coming, so I'm gonna construct two more towers. And again, set all your ballistas to a hotkey, so press Ctrl 3 or Ctrl 2 or something easy to remember. And every time you see a catapult or a fire ballista of yellow caliphs, just snipe it down. So I built a few more quarries. We are doing fine, however, these slaves are kind of scary. I have no idea how the bees get to. <laughs> I think we will need more crossbowmen, so I'm gonna sell some of my bread. Because frankly with a production area like this you don't have to save it really. And let's buy about 20 crossbowmen. As you can see I got plenty, plenty of stone again, so that means more towers. And Let's build another one like here. Doesn't really matter. So again, man them with ballistas, and I think that this will be our defense sorted out. So from now on, I'm gonna concentrate on attacking. You need something I didn't notice I've got full granary, so let's get rid of that. We also got a pile full of stone. And frankly, with 11k gold, I think it's time to just go in. Yo, load rush. So, I will buy 100 leather armor, recruit 100 crossbowmen, some assassins, and we should be fine.
So I got 33 Swordsmen. They are they will be used just for tanking some hits before my crossbowmen get into position. Uh, then I got 133 crossbowmen. And I also got a few catapults. In fact, eight of them. So let's get started. I will try to get rid of this Calyx first. It's around. Moving. Preparing. 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 Shoulder. Halt. Still got 90 curse bowmen. However, he will have fire in his castle. I'm kind of scared to go in. But let's see how that turns out. We still got 33 Arabian Sportsmen. However, almost all of my archers are both women archers. So. Oh, and there's the fight left. And there's the second one. I'll try to move away from it. I don't think we can do this with 18 guys. 12 guys now. Alright, time to send some more. Nope, we didn't do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna send one more force of 31 um, Arabian sportsmen. Hopefully this will get through, however his castle is completely decimated. I mean, so are my crossbowmen, but, you know, I think this will be enough. Right, the yellow caliph is dead, that means I will need some uh, crossbowmen for the second one. I don't think I will get 100 crossbowmen again, rather just a small force to defend my catapults that I will use to snipe the tower swift and then I will move in with Arabian Sportsmen, which have proved to be better than a rush of crossbowmen. I got 30 crossbowmen, 8 catapults from the first attack and let's say a mixed force of Arabian Swordsmen. As you can see, these guys are almost dead, however, I hope that won't be a problem. And I'm going to use my crossbowmen just to protect those catapults. Right, let's try to get Snake to attack. Right, okay. Alright, time to send some reinforcements for my crossbowmen. In fact, I will just get these crossbowmen from the towers. So that's two towers down, however he sends a massive force of archers. I don't think I will be able to defend against that, so we will need a bit more crossbowmen. Let's say 50. Alright, reinforcements are on the way. So let's continue in sniping this castle with catapults. I think I will need some more Arabian Sportsmen because I will send the first wave, just a few of them, to set those fire traps off and then I will go in with the main force. So I will want at least like 80 Sportsmen, that seems like a good idea. But in fact, if I send some of those big ones, like these guys, should be good. Preparing. Moving. 
it's almost like snakes attacking. Alright. We will use this distraction to move our first woman a bit closer. Oh, and there's five right. Jesus, this one was very well placed. Oh, let's try and go in with those sportsmen. See how many fire drives they will set off. Okay, 11 sportsmen, time to go in. So there was one fire drive. The second one. And there are also gonna be a few inside of the castle. So I will send another force of 55 sportsmen in. And hopefully they have taken the, the first batch taken care of, of all of this batch. I don't want to burn. So 45 swordsmen, we still got a few crossbowmen, 30 of them and 5 catapults. Now it's time for Sultan to die. And hopefully we can get Snake to attack. The worst part about this mission are those fire traps. Otherwise, you could just go in with a uh, like 50 macemen and get it over with. But seriously, this has been problematic because all your guys will die in fire. Alright, so all my Curse Bowman died. That's not very good. Let's see if we can go in with our Curse Sportsman. But I don't think we will be able to because we've got plenty of them as well. So that means that I will have to sell all of the bread again. And recruit a few more Sportsmen. Recruits needed, sire. Frankly, this mission is not hard, it's just, well, I'd say obnoxious at times. So right now I've got 67 crossbowmen, I took all of those crossbowmen from my castle. I still got these 5 catapults from the first attack. And I also recruited 75 sportsmen should be more than enough to get rid of this force. Uh, I will try to snipe some of those archers first and then go in with sportsmen. So let's see how that goes. Right. My crossbowmen are dying left and right and he's able to just replace his archers. Frankly I think it's time to just go in YOLO. Let's see how that ends up. So far so good, 65, 64, and I think this is GG. Yep. Well, so this was the mission Vulture's Claw, uh, it was very long, however it wasn't as hard as the mission before, the Forgotten, that was considerably, considerably, blah much harder <laughs> than this mission and frankly the hardest part of this mission are those fire traps because if you go in with your force they will just all die in fire uh, there are several counters to that you could for example send your melee troops in waves or you could try to snipe off all of his archers however when you go in with your melee troops he will just buy a shitload of enemies uh, a shitload of soldiers so yeah, that's kind of bad thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped you, uh, mainly the beginning, because it can be quite hard to defend against their attacks. 
And I would like to thank you for watching and have a nice rest of the day.